Honestly, you're right about the cat thing. No one is a cat person until they get one and then everyone is a cat person. Except unfortunately for the people that are allergic. Like my heart goes out to all the people that are allergic to pets. Um, because like, man, I, uh, sorry, I'm texting, I'm texting a friend of mine, Pink Ninja and I, Pink Ninja is my wife, by the way, and she'd be here if her, uh, if her Google account didn't have her full name on it and she didn't want to dox herself in the stream. So she's figuring out how to get a secondary account called Pink Ninja so she could be here. But we're going out of town this weekend and I'm trying to drop off some gear. You're allergic to cats, but you feel like you'd be a cat person. I think you would, Leviathan. I think for sure. Yeah. So... Okay, it's not a surprise, just gear for church will be out of town. So I can't bring it. Right, so I have to leave it with someone. Okay. Now, back to the stream. Your dad's allergic to cats, never stops him either. Oh my goodness. All right, well, let me do an intro real quick. Hello everyone, my name is ASDF, welcome back to Shadows Over Loathing. But wait, ASDF, you already finished Shadows Over Loathing. Well, we're here to tie up some of the loose ends that we uh, left hanging, so 
Um, don't mind this big open rift with the world devourer or whatever it is going through there. We're just gonna, we're just gonna leave that alone. Now I'm hoping that we can go to the Mole Ross house and figure out what's going over there, even though we don't have to do the side quests anymore. So we'll, we'll see what's going on. Okay. The bank surveyor. We've already talked to this guy, but let's just make sure that we've talked to him all the way through. So, now your sister's allergic to cats and it's not stopping her either. None of us shall be stopped by allergies. I love that. Don't let allergies hold you back. Unless they're like life or death allergies, don't let them stop you from living. You gotta live. Uh, the house is Swiss cheese with wormholes. I don't think you're 100% correct on your observation. To my eye, those holes couldn't have made by, been made by a worm. Well, it's because it's a wormhole, not a worm hole. We've been through this in a previous episode. Uh, what do you think happened to the Moras family? That's not for me to survey, but between you, me, and this Theolodite, something strange must have transpired. This was a highly profitable farm. I valued the bug on your Theolodite lens. At what? A million meat. I hope you don't think I'm giving you 10% of that. That wasn't the deal. Imagine a house going for a million dollars. I mean, imagine a house going for something outrageous that's not currently the price of a house. Okay, so we've gone down into the well, and we've seen this one. But we couldn't do anything over here, except go back. So the meteor strike came through here. There's a carrot sticking out of the bathroom sink. There's a toilet, there's a rift in the bottom corner that seems to be going slower than the other ones, and we can't go anywhere. Unless the window... Because I think he mentioned... No, we pried the crowbar... We pried something off this window so we could see. But we still couldn't do anything here. So to me, it felt like there was something missing from that. But... Mm, I, oh! Um, we can open all those letters now. I think they're in books? Because we have the letter opener, miscellany. Oh boy. Oh boy, is there a search for letter? Uh, no, there's not. All right, let's just let's just do a, a search real quick. We have an old wallet. I'm just gonna leave it. Coupon inspection report. Junk mail. There we go. We got perfume sample. Um, yikes, that's pretty serious. Yeah. Uh, your eyelids have an allergic reaction and get stuck closed and you're not able to see. Holy moly. Yeah. Well, you could never come over to our place because we have cats. Now, we do have air filters all around the house. We have two cats, we got air filters, and we do our best to keep it clean. But, I mean, at some point, if you're so seriously allergic, then there's nothing we could do. Stainless steel business card is a combat item. A fruit advertisement. Okay. Plus one to all stats. It's not bad. Another fruit advertisement. Stainless steel business card. Okay, I don't think anything in this junk mail is going to help us. It'd probably be worse if you weren't getting shots for your allergies. Yeah. True. Okay, now the cornfield looks like it's on fire. We can go back. We've come out of this one before. We've seen the pot with the pig. Um, you can see the back of the house is broken. And the, see where a gash has been covered over with new siding. Huh. I don't know. I think I'm definitely missing something here. If you're looking for the kitchen, if you're not supposed to cry over spilled milk, spilled chowder. In the top drawer, you find a large stack of orders from Moros. Produce impaled on a spike and a collection of handwritten letters inquiring if the house is for sale. Also impaled on a spike. A note from Nabby Moros to order more spikes for mail. Okay, that's not entirely helpful. You could stay in a house with a cat and be able to see for like maybe two or three hours. Oh no. If you left before two hours, would you be okay? Or would it just like, your eyes are gonna be shut regardless? An odd location and an even odder rotation for a fridge. The only light left working in the room, the other bulbs must have vanished with the mole rust. Okay, maybe the light affects the room? We are able to turn that one off. Let's, let's... Oh, oh, ooh, break the light. Okay, wait. How do we get... How do how did we get that message? It showed up briefly. Um, I'm not sure what to, how to break the, the light. But that is, that's I think, um, that's probably what we have to do. Some of the, oh. 
Maybe the wormholes only exist when there's light? Kinda looks like the wormholes only exist when there's light around. So... Yeah, I used to need allergy shots and not be able to breathe around his cat, but his allergies went way down with exposure. Oh, that's cool. Oh, uh, breaking the lights. Okay. But how did I get a message to break the light that time? Oh, wait, wait. Well, uh, uh. No. The wormhole swallows all the light in the room. Um, okay. I think the reason... Hmm. I think the reason that I never figured it out is because I, like, never walked over this one random spot in the middle of this room. Okay, how are we gonna break that light? How are we gonna break this light? Where's the spot? Quite a fine piece of furniture, the farm must have been doing well. That's why they have the lamp in the other room to show you that it's light dependent. That makes sense. Okay, so if it's light dependent, we shouldn't have unboarded the room. Well, we would have needed to um, unboard the room. Okay, we can't break this one. Can I turn off my flashlight? Is that a thing that can happen here? Can I... You can only break certain lights. Okay. The bathroom might be a viable place to go. Let's try... Let's try that. Yeah, I guess if there's a window in the room, it's not gonna... Oh, we have a bunch of rocks in here now. So now we can throw a rock. I don't know what that did. But there's no more options for throwing rocks, so I suppose that did it, whatever it was. There we go, okay. There's a name sewn on the knapsack, little Honus Molross. Inside is a straw doll, ballooned to enormous proportions. It's too large to extract from the knapsack. Where did you go, Molross family? Someone has written the name <clears throat> and telephone number of the local dog pound, but someone else has crossed the last part out and put dad pound. Well, let's call the dad pound. That's it's probably not a real place. Okay, the receiver falls apart in your hand and with it, your hopes of speaking to a dad pound. You got a fuse. This probably isn't good for the value of the house. Telephone's broken. No one's speaking to a dog pound today. Despite the disarray, this is really a magnificent foyer designed, if you're not mistaken, in the style of architect David S. Foyer. If he's French, would it be David S. Foyer? <clears throat> okay, a ladder that we can't... Oh, we can reach it? Uh, just out of reach. To say a man's reach should exceed his grasp, but that's not helpful advice when it comes to ladders. I like how... Um, the ladder's just too high up, perhaps if you double jumped, but no, no, it's never been done. It can't be done. I, I was going to say, I like how we're levitating, and then to show that we couldn't reach the ladder, we stopped levitating and attempted to jump. Um, and then, anyways, um, double jump. We just jumped twice. Uh, terrific. The vibrations caused by your double landing have loosened the ladder from its restraints. Nice. Nice. Good job. Go team. They left in such a hurry they forgot their large collection of attic plates. Gardener, after your chores today, lock the bathroom door and melt down the key in the kitchen. It is unconscionable to me that any man but a Mora should call this glorious house his home. Melt down the key in the kitchen, huh? Okay. Alright. Nice. How did we get to here? There are rocks just constantly spewing through these. All the dust drawers disappear with the Molrosses, all of them but one. You find some sort of meat and what appears to be an unfinished letter to a men's magazine. This is a direct, a direct reference to Lovecraft's short story, The Color Out of Space. There was a meteor that affected the family's produce and suddenly, soon after the family disappeared. Oh, got it, okay. Yeah, I'm not a huge Lovecraft fan. It's not that I don't like Lovecraft. It's just that I haven't read much. Um, so I'm not like... I'm not a hater, I'm just also not a fan. Dear editors, I write to inquire what advice you possess on maintaining a healthy marriage when the dog is too big, our dog is becoming larger by the day, which may require us to relinquish the marital bedroom so that the hound might have a home appropriate to his size. My wife considers this suggestion very strange and bad. It ends there. So, dad wanted to get rid of the dog because it was too big. It was a Clifford the Big Red Dog incident. And then... Mom did not want to get rid of the dog, and that's why the thing showed Dad Pound, right? So, the book's journey, welcome. Hey, my sister recommended your channel to me, and I've seen this game before, so you thought you'd come in and say hi. Well, hello, welcome. 
It would be okay if you were a hater. Lovecraft is an awful person. Well, I suppose. Uh, relatively speaking, it's a beautiful day outside. Okay, we close the shutters. Um, but we can't close these ones, so... The music box plays a plaintive tune. Grab the music box and suddenly it stops playing. Spooky. And then the background music kicks in. Do not call me that. Alright, I will refrain. How about book? Or journey? But then I'm gonna keep thinking that you're an entire band if I call you journey, you know? So, uh, you grab the music box. Oh, sudden spooky music box. So I wonder if we can decurse that. We can take a look at ourselves for the voyage of self-discovery. Now there's this. A rope prevents access to the armoires, a covetable drawers. You got a length of rope, which we could have used for the well. Um, anything except Bookie is fine. Laura is that sister. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, welcome in. Anything besides Bookie. Now, what contraband could a farm boy have been hiding in the most secret places of the armoire? Uh, don't stop believing. Aha! Farm boy- a farm- the farm boy to whom the armoire belongs- ha, well, that is such good grammar, I have trouble reading it- has used the top drawer to stash his most shameful possessions, magazines on urban planning! They make fascinating reading, you'll never plan a city the same way again. Okay, that's not entirely helpful for us. But... This must be the meteorite and the source of all this wormhole trouble, but don't get- not get too close. You don't have time to get caught in an infinite loop of falling between two wormholes. We could if we had a portal gun. Also about the color out of space, the dog size is likely a reference to the fact that all of the crops grew looking really big and glossy, but in the end they were basically inedible. <laughs> they were inevitable. Just like Thanos. Too big and purple. He's practically a vegetable. The sheer suction generated by this perpetual wormhole would rip your hand off in a second. No it wouldn't. I'm strong. I gained a hand injury. Now I'm a little less strong. Yun was not literally ripped off, just maimed. Consider it a moral victory, although you still don't have the meteorite. Boom! Now there's a meteorite and a rock in there. Um, now there's a rock in there too. Shoot it with a gun. Blammo! That, what just happened? Let's grab the rock. Uh, okay, but do it though. We gained another hand injury. Uh, and now we don't have an option to do anything. Okay, it won't let us go in there, so let's go back through this one. There's a bug. Quite an unusual bed frame arrangement. Same with the produce in the kitchen. That's right, yeah, they were huge. Okay, look for the key in the door. Yes, it's not in the door, but at least now you know for certain. Okay, the drag net is tightening. The key was supposed to be in the kitchen, which is through here, and then... Actually, no, I think it's not through there. It is through here. Okay. But I didn't see a key here. Okay, all right. Now we're in. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah, there were the giant veggies. Okay, can we pick up this rock? No, no, don't go in there. Actually, wait, maybe we should go in here. And then go to this one? Maybe now we can go... The kitchen's through the middle worm, middle hall wormhole too. Oh, for, yeah, for the other side of the kitchen. Maybe we could check the well now. No, that didn't help us at all. Wait! This must be the remaining interior damage. Can I not? I can't do anything about that light bulb. Okay. I can't I can't unshutter the window either because I pried the shutters off with a crowbar thinking that would be helpful. This whole house is just a nightmare to navigate, right? Imagine living here. Okay, here's the kitchen. Uh curiously colossal cabbages, grotesquely giant garlic, and an enormous egg. Almost had the alliteration. It was so close. We just need to get where the key is. Okay, that's not that that's not it. Okay, let's try this again. Go to the front. Go to the middle. Try interacting with the pig. You have new information. Okay. I will take any hint I can get. Oh, the right. You got a key in that pot? Casting your flashlight around the contours of the stuck pig, you spy something shiny in the obscure depths of the cast iron pot. Maybe that's a key. Now, how to remove a pig from a pot? Uh, you gotta bribe it. Who's gonna- what's it gonna take for a pig to leave his pot? Um, at least 73 meat. The pig grunts once apparently in satisfaction and rescues the key from the bottom of the pot with his curly little tail. Your transaction complete, the pig shifts onto his forelegs and scuttles into the cornfields with the iron pot still stuck on his rear end like a hermit crab, ready to play getting over it with Bennett Foddy. 
pig edition. It's it's the mole Ross edition. Um, I would never have gone back and talked to that pig. I would have I would have spent another ten minutes going around the house, and then I would have looked it up, and it would have said to talk to the pig. So definitely appreciate the hint and the timing. So now we can go up and go into this locked room. Okay, we're making progress. There's a wormhole. Hey, we lost the hand injuries by splashing water on our face. If you ever get hit by a meteorite, just splash water on your face, you'll be fine. The pig has no hammer, though he'd really struggle to play that game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, maybe he can buy a large hammer with 73 meat or less. Okay, we're making progress here. By the way, I just spotted the famous cat cam. They're so cute. What are their names? The orange one is Archie and the black one is Ronnie. Hey, are you ready for this? I have it all set up and ready to look at the cats. Oh, I didn't even turn my lights on. What kind of a streamer am I? Well, I have these annoying overhead lights. Let's get rid of those. And then let's turn on these. Oh, that's so much better. Yeah, they are adorable and I love them so much. So, uh, and I clicked out of the game and the sound stopped, even though I have it in windowed mode now. Um, yeah, the bookcase contains one copy of Marcus Aurelius and 39 copies of Marcus Aurelius. You're surprised the bookcase hasn't been pulled into the wormhole next to it. Where would it end up? Probably where the armoire was, right? From the desk of little Honus. They're cuddling. I love them. Yeah. Um, you can hear the sound still. It hasn't stopped for the stream. Yeah, well, it was when I clicked out of the game like that. Then the sound stops. So, uh, this game in particular is really odd with the sound, so, I don't know. Uh, if you're the outer spaceman who blessed this family with your meteor present, please know that we did not abandon it lightly. We will forever be grateful for the gift of your abundance, good spaceman. But as our crops have grown, so too has our dog Clifford. His name is Clifford! Alright, accidentally called that one. He is too large even for the house, and so we have decided as a family to find a new and bigger home. I hope you understand. I also hope you could send a letter for me that I did not have the time to take to the post office. I have left it in my pillow. Thank you, spaceman. Best wishes, little Honus. Mulross letter uh, addressed to Mary of the Place Pit Place. Let's read it. Um... From the bed of Little Honus. Dear Mary, as I warned might happen at our last cornfield rendezvous, Clifford has finally become too big for the house. Rather than surround su surround him, rather than surrender him to the pound, we are all going to live in the ocean. Therefore, we must pause our relationship. I know it's not the first time you have heard this excuse from a suitor, and I hope this does not damage your capacity for trust. I have asked an outer spaceman to deliver you this letter. If he gives you any trouble, I have left weapons in my Marcus Aurelius. Yours, little Honus. Okay. Okay. We're checking the books. Uh, a little Honus implied in his letters, one of his copies of Marcus Aurelius is hollowed out and conceals a weapon. It's a huge brick. It appears that all the books are hollowed out and contain huge bricks. Well, that's why I didn't fly into the wormhole. Uh, the dog growing too big for the home may also be a reference to another Lovecraft story, the Dunwich Horror, where an old god had a half-human child that outgrew his entire house. Honus is extremely articulate. I like him. Yeah, to be fair, that was after they had knocked out all the walls. Oh. We're going to clear out the bricks and it's going to fly into the wormhole and now. Okay. 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 I'm keeping the spooky music box. Where are we now? Wait, why are there no wormholes in here now? There used to be. Oh, weird. The wormholes are gone. Wait, that's the meteorite. You got the Molross meteorite. Offhand item opens a wormhole above an enemy and under an anvil somewhere, dealing twice your muscle and physical damage. Nice. Oh, all the lights are out. Oh, wait. The, um, the bookcase must have fallen and blocked out the light from the window. Yes. But this one is still... Oh, but the meteorite fell because this was the room that the meteorite was in. All right. I'm caught up now. I'm caught up. That's strange. Something was strange, but it w okay. That's strange. These rooms didn't adjoin before. Certainly is a strange choice. Yeah, I always thought that door went to the kitchen, but I suppose it, it didn't. I am so confused now. Can we flush the toilet now? So broken it has been disconnected from plumbing. 
Um, not so fast. New bathtubs are like store-bought clothes. They should be washed before they're used. With what? An even larger bathtub that would have to get delivered new and itself unwashed? It's impossible. You need an even larger series of bathtubs. It's called Bath Paradox. Roland Baths, the philosopher? He's only 13, but already has some interesting ideas about baths and tubs. But the paradox! Baths Paradox. Okay, turns out this is a supply closet that has been almost completely stripped of supplies, but we got Burtworth's finest tooth wax and mercury eye drops. It's safe and effective and don't let anyone ever tell you different. Glad that doesn't exist in real life. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Their kitchen is upstairs. There's money in the bottom of the pots. So the pig probably would have done it for seven meat because he probably climbed into the original pot for something around seven meat. Let's see. Nope. Let's see what's up in the attic. There was a portal up here, so I thought maybe... Um, three months ago, a meteorite stuck in this farmhouse, which resided in Ammon and Nabe Molros, their sons Gardner and Little Honus, and the family dog Clifford. The Molros business greatly prospered immediately following this episode. So, how are you supposed to wax teeth? I mean, it's like how you wax a car to protect the enamel. On on the on the car, can we take it now? Cause it's nope, it's still too large. Oh wait, that uh, what a strange choice to put this bathroom on the ground floor. Shouldn't it be next to the primary bedroom? Strange indeed. This is just a a, a hallway that goes to the bathroom. What a weirdly designed house. You had enough muscle to throw the pig out, but you chose to bribe, so the meat loss is entirely on you. That's fine, we have so much meat. We've got like four briefcases full of meat that we didn't even open. That pot, you guys see this pot right here? It's definitely like floating weird. It's hovering over the ground, because it like... it's It should be on the spill, but it's, it's not. Anyways, that's a, that's a thing. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Uh... You know, it's not really horrible in there, just a little disorganized. But disorganization has borne some of the world's greatest horrors. Werewolves, for instance. Werewolves? Exactly. Werewolves. If we were organized, we would know where the wolves were and have no reason to fear them. Do you see my point? Sure. We'll make a surveyor of you yet. Uh, as it turns out, you can get that... You can get to that toilet to flush it, but only before you take the meteor. Huh. Interesting. I wonder, that feels like more like a bug than canon. Uh, I found your problem. In seminary, we don't believe in problems, only opportunities. But go on. I have the meteorite. The wormholes are gone. Joyous news. Now the real work can begin. If you have spare, if you can spare the time, I'll be back here in a mere moment with my valuation. I can already tell you that the layout of the house is very bad. Really? Do you think so? Let me be the judge of that. I think I know a little something about surveying. Okay. <laughs> Warpski. Herf. So the sounds of surveying in the air. And then, my goodness, I was right about this being a horror house, but not in the way I first thought. A kitchen on the upper floor with the dining room downstairs, sandwiched between the bathroom and a bedroom, the living room adjacent to the primary bedroom, and both connected only by a narrow hallway that requires you to pass through a bathroom? Sir, this aesthetic is of the most extreme disorder. This house is rotten at its core. I would have valued it at 2,000 meat, but the telephone is inoperable, so let's knock that down to 1990. That means 199 meat for you, as per our deal. You know, you know, I didn't break the telephone. The layout is actually better with wormholes. How so? Well, the living room is off the foyer, not upstairs. You're right. I remember that from my initial inspection. Look, sense with a sensible layout, the house could easily go for 5,000 meat. I think buyers will put up with nauseating holes in the fabric of reality, but not having to walk through a bathroom to their dining room. I mean, yeah, I might take that. I don't want to have to go to the bathroom to go to the dining room. Imagine somebody's taking a long time in the bathroom and the rest of everyone in the house is hungry, but you can't even get to the food because someone's in the bathroom. Come on. And you don't want to go through the bathroom while someone's in the bathroom to get to eating. That's no good. Um, That house could sell for 5,500. Let's say 5,700 meat. No, 5,500. 5,800 and that's final. You drive a hard bargain. Good, of course. I'll need the meteorite to restore the house to order. Um, I'm keeping... Wait. Uh, 
I didn't break the telephone, even though I did. That's funny, I only said the telephone was inoperable. How would you know that it's broken? Those are basically the same thing. Fair enough. Okay, I'm keeping the meteorite. Let's go with your first offer. Oh, he gave us 200 meat, even though he said he would give us 199 meat. That might be the most money any of us see out of this house. I think the bank will flip it into a quarry, but it's been a pleasure to do business with you. I hope I'll survey you in the future. I'll survey you later. Okay, well, that was one of the mysteries that I wanted to solve. And unfortunately, the house is terrible. The other one was the Drexel stead. So we'll snap the ropes. Okay, this one, I don't know what to do with this one. We have the cornfield in the back, and we have something about Billy. So we need to appease Billy somehow, and I'm not sure how to do that. Hello again, how are the new teeth? Biting well, I hope. You smile and show off your chompers. Okay. I believe we've talked to everybody back here, but there's no sign of Billy. Wait, we need to go to the other house and deliver that letter to Mary. Although, there's no house? Was it the no house? We, what did we just do? Oh, we took apart a, a whole house. What was this one? Oh no, this was the Borge house. Okay. Which we don't talk about. We don't talk about the Borge house. Okay, it's not here. It was it was the Fife house or something like that. So I'm not entirely sure how to get to there. Um, we'll fight them. Then we'll give up because we'll get that stat increase. Uh, where is Surrender? Yes, one Mysticality. Maybe it's somewhere else. Maybe it's in the Big Moist? The... I'm looking for it. I don't see it though. Yeah, no. Maybe it's probably not in SIT and it's not in Government Valley. Maybe Ocean City? Was there a house here? There's a no house. Which we don't talk about that one either. The chop shop. It seems like we're missing something here. Maybe we'll wander around. Hey, what gives? This is a muggery. V insists. We in V insists on it that to us all of your meat give. What? All of it? That's crazy. I guess that is a little extreme. Say V instead for me. Okay, sure. There you go. That's for you. Whoa. Your route through the city takes you past the small park. The park doesn't have any people in it, probably because what it does have is a big black bell and a bunch of cows, while well, the shadows of cows. Although that implies the existence of cows that are casting the shadows, so I guess they're just shadows shaped like cows for some reason? Isn't that a little weird? I mean, it makes sense to a degree, since the time the cows came home was a pretty dark day in human history. Uh, in the history of humanity, rather. And even before then, people told tales of evil cows that grazed the fiery pastures of hell. But then only came home... They only came home over 40 years ago. Do you think if some dark alien entity wanted to tap into the primal fears of humanity's collective unconsciousness, it would reach back a little farther than that? I guess I'm just blathering. Sorry, you're probably wanting to go on with the encounter. They had one of these encounters all the way back in Ocean City? Would have gotten wrecked if we tried to fight these things back then. Um, okay. Well, they could only do so much with being lit on fire and all. Wow, that only did five damage. Okay, this is fine though. Um, we gotta keep hitting the bell. We gotta keep hitting the bell. Only three HP. Hopefully it'll burn to death. I think it only has three left. Oh, it has eight left. It's dead now. Okay, we'll just strain him. And then that guy will burn or get shot. Okay. I'm gonna keep wandering. We'll tutor them, whoever they are. Um, you, take ring. Oh, take thing. They slowly spread from the areas you've been before. Okay, that, that makes sense with the with the experience and power scaling. Did you steal someone's clothesline? Yes. Uh, it's all weird. It feels evil. Evil clothes. Jorts. Oh my goodness, if you ever hang jorts on an old-fashioned clothesline, it turns into a shadow rope. Uh, we got Anarchist Hardware. Uh, we just sent out another shipment of spare parts. There were some leftovers that weren't quite up to our standards of unrustedness and no cracks having. But we thought you might be able to use them for whatever it is that you use this stuff for. Um, okay, 
I'm not entirely sure what to do here. Let's go back here. I think we had some stuff. You put the music box on your tchotchke shelf, frightening all the other tchotchkes. Okay. I think we've already done this stuff. I don't know what the anarchist hardware is. Um, tiny workbench. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That's kind of weird, but... Um, where did that letter say we needed to take it to? It would- wow, we got a lot of stuff. A letter addressed to Mary- oh, Pleas. Pleas of the Pleas place. But I don't know where that is. It might be at Crystal Dream Lake. Does that make sense? No, it's not here either. Any advice? It's gotta be in Gray County, right? Yeah, I just don't know. We gained 28 meat. Great. Oh, this is doll parts. Let me look it up real quick. Um, please place shadows over loathing. Let me get some background music going. Moros letter. Um, it's a quest item. <clears throat> it doesn't say anything about it, though. I don't think there is a Pleas place. Is this an unending quest? Um, let me see. So initially, you just find the sphere, and then the spiders from Crystal Dream Lake, then the shapes and shadow people from SAT, finally the cows from Great County. You don't stop seeing them. After you've blown up the refinery, though, even though uh, they're being made in the refinery. Oh, yeah, interesting. I didn't think about that. Huh. Okay, well, there is apparently no Pleas place, so let's see, let's see what we need to do um, for the rest of our side quests. Talk to Murray in the Black House Laboratory. Okay, side quests. We never did find barbecue sauce, and I'm not entirely sure where we can even get barbecue sauce. Perfect slice of toast. He did it, the madman actually did it. And burnt toast. And frozen toast. Okay. Interesting. I'm looking. I, I'm not seeing anything else that we could do. Maybe the hobo camp? Go talk to some hobos. Uh, which means the refinery has produced enough of each of them to spread all the way to Ocean City, which is frightening. That is that is a little frightening. So, Oh, uh, SDF, you get around a lot, right? I, In what sense exactly? You go a lot of places. Oh, yes. You think you might be in the vicinity of the Seaside Institute of Technology anytime soon? I have a small delivery I need someone to make. Is it barbecue sauce? Sure, I can do that. I've received word that a hobo out there has come into the possession of a number of old dorm room beds, and we could certainly make use of them. Could you locate the man and give him this invitation? Royal summons. Okay. You want to buy this? Pure rock candy? No, thank you. It would be improper for my subjects to see me sucking on a big lump of candy. Suit yourself. Okay. We inadvertently got another one. It's Ovid's shop, right? With all the beds. Yeah. All right, Ovid. Here we go. The Hobo King requests your presence. Uh, come again? There's a hobo camp just outside of Ocean City, and the guy in charge heard you're rich in beds. He asked me to give you the official summons. Oh, hey, that sounds like a good deal. Can't use more than one or two of these myself anyway. I'll head out there, thanks. Oh, he's just gone. And it's a barrel blockade. We can paint this fence now that the beds are gone. Nice. I don't think we can do anything else here. And now we can't buy things from Ovid, Ovid's shop anyways. So let's uh, maybe... Do you know where to get... Laura, do you know where to get the barbecue sauce? I'll look it up if, if we can't figure it out on our own. But I've been a bunch of places and I'm just not entirely sure where to get barbecue sauce. You know what? It's probably going to be at the counter. Like this guy's sitting in there like, Man, I wish I had barbecue sauce. And it's just going to be here. Oh, extra spicy cocktail sauce. Try the barbecue wing. Oh, the barbie. Oh, you know what? I did look through the barbecue wing, um, but I couldn't get into the classrooms. Okay, we got advanced architecture, which we can sell immediately. Um, spider wing. Geology can't get in. Liberal arts department maybe. No. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, cleaning products. 
Library admissions, gift shop, topology two. Astronomy paradoxes, laundry room, barbecue way. Here we go. Now I looked in here. Uh, the fountain appears to be hooked up to a supply of barbecue sauce instead of water. That's really gross. You don't need to get into the classroom. The spider wing is the exact opposite side. Yeah, we got there eventually. Okay, well, the big mystery of the barbecue sauce is solved. Here you go, Floyd. One serving of barbecue sauce. Oh, holy cow. Thank you. He takes a big sniff. Ah, sweet and smoky, just like Dad used to make. Well, just like the machines at Dad's factory used to make. Dad's job was just making sure the rats didn't unionize. That's... A Ratatouille reference I don't want to think about. I mean, it's not really, but... Okay, maybe Greasy Steve? He shoots you a wink, but is too busy eating to talk. Man, I'm kind of hungry. I could go for some food. We got a couple slices of pizza on the fridge that I am claiming right now. All right, well, I think that's everything. Unless there's other side quests that we didn't pick up. Although the Drexel house, we still haven't figured out what to do. Uh, one second. I'm gonna attempt to figure out what to do in the Drexel house. Drexel stead. Um. Drexel stead. Oh, maybe I needed to make friends with the crow. Instead of killing the crow. Uh... Hmm. I don't know. It's a reference to the Twilight Zone. There's no happy ending there, so... There's no good ending. You can befriend the crow, but that's mostly useful for a pacifist run. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Okay, well we can't do anything with the Drexels, and I think that's everything. I'm trying to think of any other places. I mean, there's that, um, there's the big tower with enemies that get progressively harder. Uh, but we just kept going until the stat requirements were like 25 or whatever, and we, we, we could still have gone up. There's probably a few broken things that we can fix. Have you fully upgraded any of your companions? Um, we... I don't think so. Hanging in there. Chew the fat. I, I'm not sure um, if any of them have been fully upgraded. I know that they're pretty strong. But we can go back to Ocean City and the speakeasy. Let's go through this way. So, Gabby we stuck with for a good while. There's a few pieces of hobo code that we didn't get. So, I'm not sure... Oh, wait, these guys are here too. Huh. Okay, we heard gossip. Uh, you know who we haven't seen in ages? Wasco. Oh, jeez, that guy. He was so good at distractions. What happened to him? Join the other side. Wait, really? Didn't have much choice. Feds caught up with him and made him pick between spying for the Secret Service or prison. Last I heard, he's retired on a government pension. Acts in strange plays sometimes. Well, well, well. Well, we know where that guy is. The... Oh, oh no, it's it's milk guy. It's milk guy. Uh, in the bog, there's a house. Near the house, there's a hole. In the hole, a rare treat. Okay. Um, if you've gone through both vignettes for any of the companions, they'll be ready. I think so. Yeah, I think we did that with Gabby. Well, we did that with Alphonse. I'm not sure if we did that with Gabby. Do we just need to fight with them? Um, I mean, we can go... Was I whistling? I was wondering where the whistling was coming through. I learned that whistling in prison. Alright, we can go to... SIT. And then go to the frat house. And then do ourselves an infinite fight up here. Yeah. And this one I think we do one-shot kills, so... I'm still fast. 3 XP is not a lot. That's okay, though. 
We can probably equip gear that gives us more XP. Oh, it's 20 XP plus 3 because Professor Adams gives us more XP. We still haven't gotten the companion or the, the familiar from the toilet. But I think this is probably going to be the last episode. Um, because we've done pretty much everything in this game. So, now I know um, Asymmetric game is it Asymmetric Games? The developing team. To get, you have to visit specific places. Oh, we're just we're just stacking meat here for no reason then. I guess we can go to every place with the companions. Oh. Um. Oh yeah, the rotting fish. Got it. His whistle though, right? Like, listen to that. Good stuff. What game am I going to play next? That's a good question. I'm not entirely sure what game to play next. We can, uh, let me do an outro real quick, and then we'll talk about what game to play next. But thank you guys for coming on by. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. One or two clicks for you, I really appreciate it. As always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, that was for the, the VOD. Um, because I'll edit it and put it up with a meaningful thumbnail, and I'll edit out some of the parts where I had to look up things. I'll leave in where I say, let me look this up real quick, and then I'll cut out the dead silence where I'm just staring off at the other screen. If you take Obi to the swamp, then back to SIT, you can stack his vignettes pretty easy, but you have to finish the mini game. Yeah. Okay, let's um put some music on. Crack open Steam and see what I've got. So I just got... Now I'm a little late to the party. But I, oh, here I can, I can do just chatting. What's that camera looking like these days? Ah, uh, it's not looking good. It's looking, it's looking like way too high and up here, but I guess, I guess that's fine. I need to lower it, but it's attached to my light right now. And when I used to have it on the monitor, it felt like awkwardly close. So I'm not entirely sure what to do with that one. And then it's like, it's way over there. So I kind of have to like talk back into the mic this way while I'm looking up that way. So, not ideal. I can go to face, but then it's just my face that's huge. So, um, here, we'll, we'll do this. This is for you guys. We can look at Ronnie. I don't, oh, Archie's down there in the corner. We can see him in the corner. Okay, so, um, games and stuff. Uh, we did Shadows Over Loathing. We're still streaming Black Book. We could change that to a, just a daily stream until we finish it, which I still do want to finish that one. Uh, I just I just haven't gotten back to it in a while. Excuse me. Um, other than that, I mean, I just got Death Loop, but there's way too much swearing in it for me to stream it um, or do it on YouTube, and I think I'm almost done with that one. So. Um, Elden Ring, I just got. I'm not entirely sure what the content rating on Rain World, because the game's too hard for you. Well, if the game's too hard for you, it's going to be way too hard for me. I'm terrible at games, you know this. Like, Shadows Over Loathing is a game that's not hard, it's just about completing all the things, and I couldn't even figure out how to finish all the things. It's just like a cat to sit just outside the camera's angle. Yeah. You know what's funny is Ronnie used to not like being on camera. It's like she knew somehow you're worse at me than games. You're you're worse at games than me. Um Yeah, Ronnie used to like avoid the camera. She'd like go I I'd, I'd point it at her on the ground and she'd like sniff it and then walk around and sit behind where it was pointed. And I'm like, how do you even know? How is this a thing? This is crazy. And then Archie used to just be asleep all day, but yeah, so Elden Ring, maybe we could do. It's more of a serious game, but we've done serious games before. Portal with RTX I just put as a YouTube video, so it would be fun to go through Portal 2 uh, if that has a single player mode. Because otherwise, I wouldn't have anybody consistently to play it with at like 3 o'clock in the middle of the day. You know what I mean? Um, and then Resident Evil Village, the content is uh, a little too much for this channel. So I just picked that one up. Community Beat Saber stream. Well, what makes it community? Is it that I play levels by you guys? Again, I'm telling you, I'm bad at video games, especially when it involves hand-eye coordination, which is literally all video games. But like when it involves your arm, I can play like two levels of Beat Saber 
before I get really tired. <laughs> Because I am out of shape. There's multiplayer and Beat Saber. How did I not know this? Okay, I'll have to think about that one. Because I would have to set up a space where I can do VR. Um, some of the Persona games are on Steam. But they're kind of expensive. And they do tend to have at least one character that swears a lot. Yeah. It, it's hard to find games these days that are compelling. Uh, well, it's hard to find games that you can find that are compelling. And that don't have any adult content in them. And they take forever, yeah, and that are relatively short. Like, Shadows Over Loathing was perfect. It was 21 episodes, um, and we do, like, four episodes a week usually. So that one was, like, ideal. West of Loathing was the same. Um, Portal 2, I think, would be fun. I could play through Half-Life 2. I think that one is pretty chill with the swearing. I can look it up real quick. Um, Parents Guide. A Hat in Time, maybe, yeah. Okay. There's Gore and Dismemberment. There's very little language in Half-Life 2. So I, we could do that one because we played through the original Half-Life. So we could do that. And I do have Half-Life Alex if I set up the VR headset for it. So we could do that. Um, we could play through Half-Life 2 and all the extensions and everything. And that would be a lot of fun. Like that would close the loop. Solar Ash could be a good stream game. That's true. Let me, let me go to the store. Um, Solar Ash. It's $40 right now. I missed the winter sale. I should have picked it up on the winter sale. Um, A Hat in Time. I think I have it. Oh, it's on my wish list, and it's also it's $30 right now because I missed it on the... <laughs> I missed the winter sale. We couldn't have finished this game like two days ago when the sale was still on. I should have just picked up a ton of games. I tend to do like Humble Bundle stuff. Um, completely off topic, but the song is fun. What's it called? Good question. Uh, this is... Wandering Light by Stream Beats by Harris Heller. In his chiptune playlist that he came out with, I think, end of last year. So, and it's royalty free. So, we can use it on streams. He, uh, he lets everybody use it on streams. So, Solar Ash is made by Heart Machine and the mid Hyperlight Drifter. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay, I'll put it on my wish list. Um, oh, Humble Bundle. Honestly, Humble Bundle's games lately have not been so great in the bundles. Right now, they just have Level Up and Learn. What was I playing recently that I thought would make for a great game? We Now, what we could do is R Rocket League. Um, and hear me out, because I don't want to make my YouTube channel a Rocket League channel, but we used to main Rocket League, and right now I have sworn off playing any sort of competitive or casual games until- Oh, have to go. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate you coming on by. Archie and Ronnie do too, even though they were sleeping. I'll pass on the pets later on, so. Uh, the bosses in Solar Ash are the best in any game I've ever played. See, that's, that's where I'm really terrible at games, so... Yeah. Um, what else? I was playing a game the other day- oh, Rocket League, right. I've sworn off, uh, playing any sort of competitive or casual Rocket League until I get good. And so I'm just doing tons of training. So I'm doing aerial training, I'm doing dribbling training, just for fun, like an hour a day or less, like 15 minutes a day at least, um, on the weekdays, so that I can eventually get good at it. So I think that would be a good one. I have other games too, that I've already put in a folder called Upcoming Streams. Um, Firewatch, I already did. Life is Strange we could do. Um, oh, the fights, it's easy, they're just unique. Okay. Well, I mean, Elden Ring is hard fights that are not so unique, so completely the opposite, actually. I, I mostly bought Elden Ring for my dad. 
So, but we use family sharing to share the account. So, life is strange is good. Honestly, let's do that one next. I'm gonna go ahead and install it. And then I will immediately pause the install so that it's in the queue for downloads, but doesn't take up all my internet bandwidth right now during the stream. Yeah, I, I've been meaning to stream Life is Strange for a long time. It's very heavy. So it's definitely a game that, I mean, it's been out for ages. Um, there's so many good playthroughs of it on YouTube, but I just, that's something that I wanted to go through as a journey well, with all of you guys. So I think that would be a good contender. Alrighty. Well, Life is Strange, I would be very happy to do next. What else did I put in the to be streamed folder? Um, I have all of the Dishonored games in the upcoming YouTube. Look at, oh, Shader Lab, that's right. Um, by Modus. Um, you know what, let me just download it real quick. It's a... Uh, it's a freemium, right? Oh, it's on, on, uh, itch.io, yeah. A very unique horror game. Yeah, you were telling me about it. So, um... Okay, download Shader Lab for PC. Okay, now that's also in downloads. So I can play that one too. Um, Dishonored would be amazing. Oh, when I apparently when I speak directly into the mic, it sounds much better, clearer, louder. Some might even say it's how you're intended to talk into a mic. Yeah, so we could play Dishonored, Dishonored 2, and Dishonored Death of the Outsider. I've been meaning to play those for YouTube, but um, we could stream them. That would be fun. So that that's a good one to do next. We could play... I go through my library every now and then and, and think about it. We could play... Oh, what's that game? Um, it's probably on Epic. Let me open Epic. Beholder 2? We could play Beholder 2. That's kind of a fun puzzle game that is suited well for, uh, for streaming. I'm pretty sure it's Beholder 2. So, but we have our next game. Um, we'll play through Life is Strange starting next week. And uh, then I'll figure out a time to finish up Black Book as well. Because that one, I think, does better with the longer episodes instead of one hour a day. Because it's a, it's a roguelite, so... Coat Simulator 3. Oh boy. Well, that does it for today's stream. So, Levi, thank you for coming on by. Um, Book, thank you for coming on by. It was fun having you for the first time. And Laura, I know, is already gone, but uh, also thank you for coming on by. And uh, we'll get Pink Ninja on here soon. And hopefully you guys all have a great rest of your day and weekend. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.